How's it going guys? It is Ultracide from Anchor Toasting and today I wanted to show you guys the Pterodactyl unofficial installation script for one of the easiest ways to set up uh, both wings and the panel. Uh, so first you're going to want to have a VM, VPS, whatever you want to call it, or a dedicated machine to set this up with or perhaps like a VPS for the panel and a, a different machine for to set up wings on. So we have that right here. Uh, we provide them an anchor toasting. You can purchase one if you'd like. I have one right here that we're going to be using, and we're going to use it with Ubuntu 22.04, and we're going to be using Putty to connect. So once we have that, we can install the OS onto the system. And after this installs, we're going to have to set up the DNS record we want to use with this. You can use your IP, but I recommend uh, a DNS to set this up with just for the, like, you can be able to use like a SSL certificate now that we have DNS set up with it. And the script will walk you through the SSL as well. So we're gonna put it on Aqueous Cloud as this domain since I don't have a lot of DNS already on it. So let's just add this and we'll call it Potero as an A record and we'll connect it to the IPv4, which we copied already. I'm not gonna proxy it for this tutorial since that's gonna add an extra level of complete like complexity when setting up wings, but you can if you'd like. You just have to make sure you are knowledgeable on what to do if you already have that proxy. So let's save this, and now we have a record pointing there. Cloudflare is pretty good about this setting up when you add a new record, it being really quick to distribute to their network, but otherwise you may have to wait like five minutes or so, depending on which kind of DNS provider you're using. Now, since we have this, uh, it should email you a password we can connect right here. We're going to want to connect the root at our IP via PuTTY. And then once we do this, we should be prompted. We're going to accept the host key. And now I found the password because it's sent to my email, so I can do it right here. You could be using an SSH key, which you need to set that up within PuTTY to be able to use for an SSH key. Now I'll hit enter. I'm not sure if I pasted that in there, but I think I did. All right, I'll paste it in this time. I don't think I copied the right thing here. Let me get it right here. There we go. All right, now that we are in the VM, I just have the name to uh, Pterodactyl Easy Showcase. Uh, you don't really need much for the panel, but you will need a little bit more for Wings if you want to run game servers on it, because that is where Wings defines where you are running the game servers on the Pterodactyl management interface. So now that we have the script, we're going to make sure that we have curl on whatever machine we're using this on. Uh, with Ubuntu 22.04, I'm pretty sure curl comes packaged with it. So we can just copy this right here and run the bash script and we can walk through it right here. And it should prompt us on what we're going to do. So whether we want to just install the panel or whether we want to install Wings. In this tutorial, I'm just going to put both on the same instance since I set it up to have uh, more along the lines of a little bit more resources and I want to show you guys both and how we actually set that up once we get into the panel. So I'm going to do two because I've read this and that's what you're going to want to do to install both. You do zero if you want to install just a panel and one if you want to install wings. Database name, I'm going to use this as default panel. This is a database for the panel. Uh, if you want to go back and edit any of the database resources, you probably won't. But if you do end up screwing something up and you want to go into the database, make sure you do save these credentials. I'm going to keep these default by pressing enter in the parentheses. That's the, the default for it. But for the password, you are going to want to set up your own password. It's not going to show you, but I'll just set up a password right here from the database. And then we can set up the time zone. So time zones are kind of formatted in the traditional format, like I am America slash Chicago for like a, a central time zone right here. And then for the email, we're going to use to set up uh, the SSL certificates via the Let's Encrypt organization, which provides it. So the, they provide the third party SSL certificates. That's what's going to give us the little checkbox or the armor security in the browser that's saying you that you have a safe connection and there's no man in the middle attack going on. So we're going to set this up. Since I use the Aqueous Cloud domain, I might as well set it up with the Aqueous Cloud email, but you can uh, set it up with, I'm spelling this so wrong. 
you can set it up with your email so that you will get notices whenever the certificates expire. I think this uses CertBot to do, so you can renew it with CertBot if it does. And then we'll do the same thing for the admin account. We can copy that, but I'll just type it. And then we'll use that whenever we're signing in, or we can use our username, which I'll just use Sai for this. Uh, with this information, not really needed. I'll just put it in anyways. And password, you gotta make sure you remember this because this is what you're gonna use to sign into the panel. You can see it. I just use the same one I use for the database. And then the FQDN, this is gonna be the DNS we already set up at like your DNS provider. So this will be patero.aquas.cloud since this is an A record. So we can go back here and set up patero.aquas. And this is where it's going to do verify like SSL and such. I'm going to uh, not automatically configure the firewall since I will be configuring it manually because I'm going to be hosting wings on this. But if you're just hosting Patero on this, you might as well automatically configure the firewall. But because I'm going to be also letting some game ports through, I'm going to be doing the firewall myself. So I will say no, because I'm going to be uh, assigning some ports with wings, but you will have to know that you will probably want to assign your firewall to whatever ports wings will want to use, such as like ADAD. And since we are going to want to use SSL and get our security certificate, we're going to say yes, because we want HTTPS. That implies that we're using SSL. And yes, I want this uh, request to be confirmed so we can get our certificate from the third party. There we go. We got it verified. Let's continue with the installation. This is saying if we want to send data back to Pterodactyl, that'll be telemetry data, like how the panel is used and whatnot. In this case, we can just use the default, which is in the brackets. Uh, so yes, I'll just hit enter. We'll just agree to the terms of service after we've read it for Let's Encrypt, the third party certificate we're using. And this is going to verify it, send a few queries and it got it was successful uh, if it wasn't you're probably gonna have to troubleshoot it for a while there are some uh, information on the pterodactyl documentation for what you can do to troubleshoot and generate the certificate yourself and yes we're going to want to proceed to the wings installation this is where we're going to set up our wings database uh, docker and whatnot because we will want a database host we're not going to want to set up firewall i'm going to do this myself but you guys, if you aren't setting up very much, then you can just say yes. I'm a, uh, Since I'm go going to be assigning my own ports, I'll just say no here. Configure a user for database host. If you want to be able to use a database with your servers on the same machine, yes, you'll want a database host. And uh, there are other ways to configure it. Uh, since we are just accessing it locally, we won't need to configure uh, MariaDB or MySQL to be accessed externally, but there are some information in the pterodactyl documentation if you do want to configure them to be accessed externally. We'll just set up this database host. Or we can configure it to be accessed externally right in the script, that's even easier. Uh, let's say we have patero dot aquas cloud, that's our address for where we're setting up the, the panel to be located. It's sending to the same IP as Wings, but if they are separate, you're going to want to have two different DNS records here. Or enter in whichever one's hosted on your panel. We'll just leave that right here. Enter database username. We can just use the default pterodactyl user. I'll show you how to set this up once we get into the panel. And then we can set up a password for this. I'll use the same one as the other database, but you're probably going to want to remember these and separate, use separate ones for whenever you put this into production as you want the extra layer of security. And we're also gonna to wanna to set up a certificate here. 
but we should already have a certificate if you're doing this on the same machine. So we can press no here because we already will have an SSL certificate. But if you are separating this onto a second machine, then you can use no. I have it on the same address. So I'm just gonna say no here since I already have a certificate at that address, but you probably have using a separate A record, you will want to say yes to this as you will want to create another certificate to be stored on this machine. And then we can proceed with the installation. Yes, and since they say it ports 8080 and our firewall in 2022, we can just take our status of the uncomplicated firewall. That's what's used on uh, Ubuntu. Since we are root, we can just see it. Since it's inactive, there's no firewall. So we should be able to just go straight on to uh, patero.aqueous cloud and we'll have nginx uh, load balance us right into the PHP site. So we'll do patero aqueous.cloud right here and boom we are now into the pterodactyl panel and we should use the credentials that we set up for the panel when we went through the panel installation through the script so i use sive and i set up a password for myself that we can use here i'm not going to save this since this is just a demo panel but now that we have this we also set up a database host for wings but first let's uh, connect the node so we're gonna need a location. Since I'm setting this in Dallas, I just might as well use Dallas. This is kind of just a grouping of nodes. I don't know why they call them locations, but I mean, that's kind of a good abbreviation if you do want to sort your nodes by location in groups. But I'll just say Dallas, because that's where the VM is located at. We'll save it. Let's go to a node. Now we're gonna create a new one. Let's say we can call this Dallas node one. It's located in Dallas. The DNS, also known as FQDN here, we call this patero.aqueous.cloud. This will be separate for whatever uh, DNS you assigned. And since we did assign a SSL certificate, we'll use SSL here. And it's not behind a proxy. Like if we did assign a proxy in Cloudflare, then we would need to set it up right like this. We have uh, four gigs of memory on the machine, but we we'll probably won't be using all of that uh, here. This is the directory we're storing it at. We have 40 gigs of this space on this machine. So I'll just set that up right there. We are, I don't wanna over allocate. I just wanna keep it at, this is the most we can allocate to our, our wings instance via the servers tab. So we'll create that. Right now, we're gonna to want to use our IP address right here and uh, create something. So perhaps I will just set up something at port 1026. Maybe we can do uh, a Minecraft server at that port. Or let's just do 25565, since that's a default Minecraft server port. And we have this on our wings and it should be free since it's used by nothing else. Now that we have uh, our node allocation done, let's generate a token here. This is the easy way to do this. This will automatically configure this etc pterodactyl file. We go back into our PuTTY instance, our SSH connection, and right click, enter. Now that should have set it up. We're going to want to start wings. I'm gonna start it in the debug mode. Make sure that we do have it working. Yes, it's working. I'm gonna exit out of that with control C. And we're going to start uh, wings. If we want this on startup, we can do systemctl enable wings, but I'm just going to start it for the time being. And uh, we you will definitely need to start it after you enable it because enabling it only starts it on reboot. And now we should see this. So now whenever you do it, it will load, now it shows you the version. When it shows you the version right here, and not just the version right here, that means it did find it and did connect to it. Now, we did set up a database host on it through the script, so you can just create a database host. We'll call this Dallas database. We use the same uh, host as this is uh, it's the same one we set up. You can also use the IP address of it as well, but since this just points to the same place and it's more readable, I'll use this. 
pair.aqueous.cloud. This is a port that assigns the database by default for MySQL. We set the database user to pterodactyl user when we set this up, and the password was the one we assigned. I'll link this to the node Dallas node one. So whenever we create a database on a server on this node, it'll automatically go to the Dallas node, or like it'll be assigned to this database when you create a database on a server that's on this node. If you do want to create another user for other people to access your panel, you can do so here. But if you just want to create a server, I'll just show you an example of doing this. So we'll just call this Minecraft server. I'll be the owner of it. Hmm, I guess I have to use my actual name. Perhaps what's the user here? I wonder why it won't let me find my user. Do I need to use email? Well, that's look like I need to use email to find it. We'll use the default allocation right here. You can assign additional IPs if necessary. This is where you'll assign the limit for how many databases you can cr uh, create or how many backups you can create. If you did set some S3 object storage, and this is for if you want to add additional allocations, I'll just set this to be able to use unlimited resources by using uh, zero here. Uh, I'll set it to use unlimited swap space, which is like using memory out of your disk. And I'm not going to pin the CPU, so I'll leave this blank. We'll use Minecraft. I'm just going to set up a vanilla server on Java 17, and then we can create a server right here. Now, if we hit the little go to the link, it'll show us the installation of the server right here. And it looks like it automatically started up. So now that it's starting the server, we can accept the EULA. Pterodactyl is a nice little UI element for the uh, Minecraft egg. And it looks like it's starting up and working. So we should be able to connect to the server at this address. And you don't even need the port since we're using the default Minecraft port. So we can just connect to it at 0.26. I really hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you do have any questions, you can send it to us in the comments or the Anchor Toasting Discord, and we can try to help you out with that. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Pasadios.